public enemy. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Probably the greatest hip hop album of all time. I want to talk to you about this. <laughs> On the back of this record, The Black Flames, from the Less Than Zero soundtrack, was a record that wasn't even promoted on the sleeve by Def Jam. Bring the noise. I've got to be real with you. I first saw this 12 inch and my mate Paul Mosby, he had this on 12. And I was looking at the front of this record and I was thinking, this record's rubbish, man. But on the B side, Public Enemy, Bring the Noise. Oh my gosh. We loved that tune. That tune was so sick. Def Jam didn't even advertise it on the front of the 12. That's how much Def Jam cared about Public en Enemy in the early days. I've heard rumours that Rick Rubin was the guy that loved Public Enemy. And that Russell Simmons was like in two minds about them. I can't believe that now. Because Russell Simmons rates this album as probably the greatest record ever released on Def Jam. I've heard him say it. I'm sure I've heard him say it. That it takes a nation of millions to hold us back is probably the best record ever out on Def Jam now. But in those days... Bring the noises on the back of this 12. It's not even mentioned on the front of the 12 inch. And none of us were interested in the Black Flames. Are you my woman? We were all interested in the B side. Bring the noise. I remember when I heard that record. Chuck's voice. Oh my gosh. The record starts off. Bass. How low can you go? I don't think anybody in the UK had ever heard a hip hop voice like Chuck D's. It was so powerful on Bring the Noise that everybody sampled it. Simon Harris, who in my opinion in those days in the 80s was like probably the best hip-hop engineer in the UK. He sampled it and had a massive hit with that. He sampled Bass How Low Can You Go from Bring the Noise and it was in the charts. And I think that record even charted higher than Bring the Noise by Public Enemy. But that record was kind of commercial, bro. And to be truthful with you, most of us kind of laughed at that record. I'm talking about the Simon Harris tune, Bass How Low Can You Go. We thought it was corny, to be real with you. But Bring the Noise. Oh man, we love that tune. The way Chuck's riding the beat on that. Bass, how low can you go? Death Row, what about a note? Once again back, it's the incredible Ram Animal. The public enemy number one. That's one of Chuck's greatest ever performances, Bring the Noise. 5 -0 said freeze <laughs> can I tell them that I really never had a gun but it's the wax that the Terminator X spun now they got me in the cell cause my records they sell and a brother like me said well Farrakhan a prophet that I think you want to listen to I hadn't even heard of Farrakhan before Chuck mentioned Farrakhan's name in Bring the Noise that record the production again James Brown jink 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 Jink, 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 jink. The way Bomb Squad put that beat together. And the intro. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Public Enemy are famous for their intros. And the drum roll before it goes. Kick, 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 bass. Just rolls into Chuck beautifully. Oh my gosh. Bomb Squad in production. That record. Phenomenal. One of three monster singles from probably the best hip hop album ever made. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Don't believe the hype. Rebel that applause and bring the noise. Everybody was sampling Chuck D's voice. Everybody was feeling the energy of the Bomb Squad production. And everybody in the UK was loving Public Enemy's energy. All from this 12 that came out on a Less Than Zero soundtrack. I've never seen that film before. And you got these guys at the front. On that 12 inch, Public Enemy ain't even, there's no picture of Public Enemy on that. But everybody was buying that US import for the B-side. Once again, the B-side wins again. The legendary public enemy. Bring the noise. So powerful that Chuck, public enemy, they re-released it with Anthrax, a heavy metal group. <laughs> and we all laughed, you know what I mean? Because we could see what they were doing and it was a great move by public enemy to cross over to the rock crowd. And to hear that guy trying to rock Chuck's lyrics... He kind of pulled it off still, the, the guy from Anthrax. He kind of pulled it off. But to be truthful, us in the hardcore underground hip-hop world, we weren't really feeling the Anthrax mix. We loved the original, but we understood what they needed to do to cross over. And we loved Public Enemy. 
Chuck D, Flavor Flav, The Bomb Squad, Security of the First World, S1Ws, Terminator Rex. Oh my gosh, bring the noise. What a monster 12 that was. It's Comanche Sly from Hip Hop 73. Talking about probably the greatest hip hop album of all time. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Public Enemy. <laughs> 